Hey, what's going on guys? Pods here and we're back again with another video to show you guys and today I'm going to guide you on your future and before. <laughs> we will talk all the things that uh, you need to do daily and uh, weekly so that when the time comes that you're ready to spend or have enough zenith to invest on your handbook, you will not encounter any problem at all. Since some of the materials are uh, limited for weekly purchase and also some needs a quest to unlock the said uh, blueprints so uh, if you don't know what the hell i am talking about don't worry since i will be discussing those things to you right now all right so let's start with the furniture so i'm here in the upper there of course and let's check this one so what i am going to ask you is to buy this one weekly so you need to uh, buy all, I, I believe uh, you can buy 100 pieces of this weekly. As you can see, uh, accounts, weekly purchase quota. So I believe you can buy 100 pieces of this and then 10 pieces, I guess. Yeah, 10 pieces of this. So around 1.7, yeah, 1750 zenny every week so that is not a lot guys so you should be able to buy this one with no problem at all all right the thing also in here is you need to uh, max the level up to level 35 in order to unlock all the blueprints in here as you can see there are lots of uh, stats in here involved so unlocking all this one will be a good idea not only that you need to also unlock all the uh furniture blueprint in here located in the lighthouse and as you can see i'm in front of lady velvet furniture merchant so i already unlocked this one up to level 12 max at the moment so as you can see there is still lots of uh, stat in here in fold so unlocking this one is going to be good as you can see you need a plate to uh wood so uh buying those a uh, weekly will help you a lot all right so the last one that is holding the uh, furniture blueprint is this one on alba also in the lighthouse located uh in here you also need to unlock all its uh a blueprint that's there you go mass hp def up to level uh, 12 also if you're wondering you only need this one same with the uh, last one you only need this one and if you're wondering where to get this one of course you can get this one on the uh, mission board daily mission board as you can see there is it all you need to do is send this one to those uh, merchant the next one is the blueprint as you can see in here, I have lots of blueprints that is ready to be uh, crafted. As you can see, you can unlock this one if you already finished the side quest involving this uh, blueprint. If you are wondering how to search each uh, quest, well, all you need to do is uh, go to here. This is important guys, all collectible and then just click this one all right so as you can see every quest has a name like for example this one is a 4c treasure this one is goblin treasure all you need to do is search this one on the uh, google majority of this quest is available so uh in the future i think i'm going to make also a guide on this one for every quest I will uh, give a uh, map since some of this is uh, some of this is uh, going to involve killing a uh, special mob so uh, I'm going to guide you where those specific special mob located is All right like for example this black forest fairy tale just uh, google this specific name black forest fairy tale Ragnarok mobile quest then uh, certainly there is a guide for it all right so uh like i said earlier i'm going to uh, compile all the quests 
involving this one in the future. The next one is the said materials. Like for example in here guys, it says that you need a black wing and a black wing material is not easy to obtain. Uh, let me show you. There you go. This one. Clock is also a hard uh, material to find. Uh, floating coin. All of this one. Since uh, if you're going through in here, you can only buy 10 every day. So I'm going to buy this one. Alright. Floating coin. I also need, uh, I don't need this one anymore since I have around 2k on that. Uh, ancient Matril coin. I think I don't want to buy that one since I I believe I already finished in doing that. And then Fate Nail. Alright, I'm going, I'm not going to buy this one. Okay, so let me show you why I did that one. So snowman, I can already craft this one immediately, but I'm going to do that on another video. We also have this one, it, it needs fate nail, as you can see, fate nail. Some of this needs a uh, limited item. This one. So now, there's also an alternative in order to farm those. So this is the alternative thing that you need to do if you want to uh, farm, uh, like for example, a uh, black wing as much as possible, farm it uh, fast. All you need to do is go to, uh, wait, hold on, I need, it needs abyss flowers, I'm going to give him an abyss flower and then do the things that he requested all right so this is located on glass film hall for the black wing so after doing the request after completing the request just talk to him and then he will give you six pieces of a black wing Alright, so I'm going to do this one five times a day, which means I can get uh, 30 pieces of uh, black wing while doing this one. You can also kill the uh, wick puppet in here. It drops a uh, black wing also, and I'm going to show you. There you go. There you go, black wing. But there's only three pieces each. A uh, weak puppet. A uh, killing a Bapu mid star also will gain you a uh, black wing. So if you have a chance to kill a uh, Bapu mid star, then uh, you should do so. The next one is the floating coin. So in order to. Uh, Exchange some floating coin. All you need to do is go to Magma Dungeon, second floor. So in here, same principle. All you need to do is talk, and then I'm going to do this one also five times a day. There you go. After finishing the said request, you will have six pieces of floating coin. The same with the evil wing. And then there's also an alternative way, the fastest way is killing the uh, harpy star. Alright, so I'm going to link the description down below if you're not familiar with that one. So be sure to check it out. So the next one is the Niflheim. Same principle, but uh, it is located on the Skellington. Alright, so I'm going to give you an uh, insight. It is located around here. 
and uh, you need to have this one yeah around 250 and uh, 250 also so I have uh, approximately 500 30 pieces of uh, ancient mineral coins so I don't need to uh, farm this one already and uh, the thing is I need to unlock this one but so far I am uh, currently doing that one every week the SMVP called the uh, Grand Wolf so you need to do that one also I'm talking the uh, yeah this one you need to do this one in order to unlock those uh, specific uh, blueprint the next one is on the Lighthausen it is located on the uh, homiculus love basement floor second so in here talk to this guy doing this one five times a day also will save you uh, the materials so on the racial unfortunately there is no npc that uh, is going to exchange for your mats into a fate nail so what i am doing in here is to uh find a giant seroma uh, channel hopping is going to help you with that you can easily uh farm a uh, fate nail if you channel hop Uh, since uh, there is no giant seroma oh so we got a giant seroma in here Let me kill this one i believe you can uh have a uh or deal or kill a kill this uh, giant seroma if you are going to a uh, channel hop all right as you can see i can uh, get a uh around six pieces of fate nail so another giant seroma another fate nail there you go so i'm going to give you an example guys since uh, i'm doing that daily i can now craft this one easily all right all you need to do is uh buy this one and then craft the said blueprint and uh don't forget guys to kill the smvp ad weekly all right so i'm going to show you this uh, smvp this is the available smvp right now all of this weekly all right at least once and don't forget to have a uh, fresh green stamina if you are wondering uh, why I am not uh, making this one or uh, crafting this one yet, well, I'm going to save this one for my uh, for another video. I'm going to show you uh, what is the aftermath while doing that one. So I hope that I can reach uh, max HP around at least 30k and then attack 1.2. I'm good with that and also improve our defense and mdef okay so i'm that is the thing that i am hoping for all right so i think uh, we're good to go yeah we already tackle all the things that you need to do we still got a lot of uh, max hp in here so that's why i am uh advising you to buy the said uh wood uh weekly guys it's because due to this one you need a lot of wood to craft all this uh, materials i mean a uh, blueprint i think we already tackle all the things that you need to do daily and weekly so uh that's it thank you so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this if you do please hit the like button and if you want my future content, please do subscribe. Until then, see you in the next one. Bye guys!